Good morning. Good morning to my vlog. Good morning. It's down there. So, as you can see, that's upstairs. I can't see. Yeah. And. <laughs> I want to look presentable. What I had on was too inappropriate. I'm going to show you. Because I feel like once I come down here, ain't no going back upstairs. <laughs> so, might as well do this thing. Oh, my God. We don't move the <laughs> took her from your TV. <laughs> oh, man. We need to we need some light in this house. And get the milk? Yeah, I'm gonna get it and get some uh, cream. Creamer. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to another Sunday breakfast slash dinner cooking. Um, today we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some Kalaloo cabbage saltfish cook down and we're gonna fry some dumplings, some fried dumplings. That's what we're cooking. And for dinner, we're gonna have curry chicken and jerk chick jerk barbie wings so we're gonna do some jerk barbie wings in the oven and we're gonna do curry chicken with rice and beans or rice and peas yeah so watch me do my thing in the kitchen stop watching me <laughs> right now we have the um the saltfish is cooking I got the I cut up my cabbage. That's my cabbage. I cut it up already. And my mom, my mom gave me some kalaloo. It was already in the freezer, so it's I took it out when I came downstairs. So yeah, my mom cut this up and gave it to me. So yeah, that's what's for breakfast. And I'm gonna show you how I do my fried dumpling. Okay? Yes. Y'all like my little uh my little cover up my beach cover up I feel like because I had on shorts so I was like let me put this on but let me show you how to we're gonna make the flour because we're short on time and I wanna be done early today because I have stuff to do. Yeah. We're gonna make the flour or the we're gonna mix the flour so in order to do that you take your desired amount that you want you know i think i want to make like a dozen so four for each person so myself my husband chris and cameron so that's uh actually more than a dozen <laughs> we're gonna need more than that because i'm gonna give each of them four and then I want some extra left over. Maybe they can have it for breakfast tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna use like three cups of this. Yep. And then I'll probably just make them small or something like that. So you use your flour and you also get some baking powder. You need baking powder. And you need salt. You gotta add salt. So any flour, that you just regular all-purpose flour. Don't get self-rising because you don't want that. Just get regular all-purpose flour and the baking powder is what's gonna make it rise.
So whatever baking powder you want to use. So you're going to use the amount of baking powder as what you have to the flour. I think I probably use like a teaspoon. You know, us black folks, we don't measure nothing. We just do it, right? We don't measure nothing. We just eye it. I think that's good. And then you're gonna add your salt. Yep. And it's you know, it's up to you what you wanna add. If you wanna add like um if you wanna add some get make sure my ring light is not in here if you want to add like sugar you can i usually put like a little bit of sugar in mine it don't taste anyway but what i am gonna do i'm gonna add some butter in there because the butter is gonna make it nice and fluffy and flaky okay yes And I just cut like, cut it into like pieces. So when I'm kneeling the flour, so you just cut it however you choose. You don't have to be like exactly what I'm doing. That's just how I do mine, okay? Yeah. You don't have to do it like this, cause that's it. So I'm probably gonna cut it, cut the amount, see the desired amount that I want. And then when I feel like I have enough in there, then I'll stop. So as I said, you add the butter to your liking, how fluffy you want it to be. I think that's, I'm probably, after this, I'm not gonna add any more butter. Cause I feel like that's a lot. And you just cut it up into pieces so when you're kneading, when you're kneading the flour, you know, you can smoosh it out. Yeah, I think that's good. That's enough butter. Wash my hands. So remember. You're doing the flour, depends on the amount of people you're frying the flour, the, the fry dumpling for. You can make, um, you can use both, you can use maybe a cup, two cups. So if you cooking for more than like four adult personnel or not four adult personnel, four adult um, uh, people, you can uh, use about two cups, two and a half cups or to your desired um you know what you feel like will feed your family so that's it right here that's the um the flour so now i'm gonna gonna um blend everything so you're basically gonna just mix it around come here can you come help me please hold this thing here Stop it and then start it back. And then just flip the camera. So you're just gonna add your water and you're basically gonna make like a dough. That's what you're doing. You know, if you're Jamaican, you know if you do this already. I'm just showing you what I'm cooking for Sunday breakfast, that's it. Not more on the know if you do this already, right? Yeah. Everybody knows to make flour. But this is fried dumpling, so it's just the uh, ingredients are different. You just when you make cooked flour, you just add salt and stuff like that. I think that was a good idea. Daddy putting cookie in the um in the 
guest room? Because mm -hmm. she want to always take over the TV. So you basically just, as you add the water, you're kneeling the flour. You're putting it together. That's all you're doing. And if you spoil it, you just add some more flour. That's it. That is it. Okay? If you spoil it, you add flour. You know, add. I said, if you feel like you spoil it, guess what you do? Add some flour. But I feel like this is good. Just gotta kneel, 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 kneel. Until you're liking, until you feel like everything is good and ready, right? This is what you do. This is the hardest part. He was gonna be half ready. You can stop it, Karen. <laughs> so right now we're frying the dumplings. So this is how I make mine. She got her milk. Me. In my space, like I was chilling in here, you know. I don't know why I need to leave it by myself, but I like it. Instead of talking me all that, that was good. Yeah. And here she comes, all that wine. Capri is like, I am not about this. I don't do all that wine and stuff. Yeah, you do. Um, here. 
this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna dump that in there and don't just throw it in there, okay? Hold on, let me turn it. He said he wanna help me, y'all. He said he wanna help. So, <laughs> we gonna see. You know? Hold on, let me come. So you're gonna use the fork and basically put it in the um yeah, that way the oil don't splash up in like what okay go ahead. So you wanna hold it like this. You right handed, right? So there you go, like this. Put this in your left hand. You don't have to do it exactly like me. Hold it down. There you go. Okay. So now, we're going to do this Okay. So we're gonna let that saute. I turned the stove up a little bit. Y'all see? That's my dumplings. They're frying. I need to turn the stove up a little bit. My stove is a little too low. So that's my dumpling. This is my pot for. This is the pot for um my saltfish. I'm gonna fry down the saltfish. Then I'm gonna add the cabbage and the uh, kalaloo, okay? That's what we're doing. Yeah, so there you go. We're gonna, I already turned the stove up because we need it to be turned up. So there you go. So we're gonna stand here, Cameron, and you're gonna watch, okay? We're gonna um, get some paper towel. It's the dumpling fry. So we're doing a lot this morning. We're doing this my peas right here. Cook it from last night. And then this, I'm gonna use a different fork. Right here. Yeah. Do the saute. And then I just turn up my stove for my dumpling. I need to turn them. Go. I'm to turn it down a little bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Mm -hmm. Over there. Everybody watching Coco Mountain. Okay.
So Chris, say good morning. How's the food? Is it good? It's very good. It's very good? Yeah. So why are you hiding your face? Y'all look at my son. Ain't he handsome? <laughs> Single, yeah, single. <laughs> nah, he's a child, okay? He's a baby. Okay, he is a child. He ain't an adult yet. We got one more year. Say hi. Look at my baby, y'all. He's so handsome. Look at my boy. Oh my god. <laughs> But he did help me cook the um he did help me cook the sawfish and the um kalaloo and cabbage. And that's Charlotte. Did you help me cook anything? No, you didn't. You, you still eating? Okay. And then Oh, that's my ring lights. Say what up, though. Yo! <laughs> so, y'all, we're going to cook some curry chicken. Yes, we got the curry chicken right here. My peas. Oh, let me move my coffee out the way. Put this over here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 and that's my curry chicken, y'all. I know I've done this video already where I showed you start to finish. Huh? Start to finish. No, that's not how we eat. Start to finish. I cleaned my chicken last night. I seasoned everything, put my curry on here, and guess what? When I'm ready to cook it, I'll show y'all that too. This is my peas. My peas already cooked. I already add my coconut milk in here. Then I'm going to add my scallion and my thyme. Already got the pepper in there, as you can see. Um, this is leftover from breakfast. My uh, Kalaloo cabbage sawfish cook down. Right? And that's my food. That's my food. And... If you want to see Capri, Capri is right there. Say hi, Capri. Say hi. She's watching. She's watching Coco Melon in the guest room. You say hi, Nana. Say hi. There she go. No? Okay. So we're also doing some jerk Barbie wings. So my husband seasoned these last night, so we're gonna put them in the oven. I already prepped the um the pan that we're gonna do them on. So we're gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna jerk them and then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce on there. So it's gonna be jerk barbie, jerk barbie wings. Yes. What? What? I'm eating. Well, you already ate your breakfast. You need to start. You need to eat all your toes. This needs to go upstairs and some tissue. So, right now, the rice is cooking. I'm burning the curry to make my curry chicken. That's my veggies that's gonna go in my curry. My carrot, my onion, my carrot, my onion, green pepper, yellow pepper, 
Um, I'm going to get some garlic um, cloves. That's some more curry right here. Um, that's what we're going to do. This is the chicken that we're going to add to the oil once it's hot. And I'm going to turn over my camera to Cameron so he can... Yeah. There we go. We're waiting for it to spring some water. Then I'm gonna add some more water to it, of course. Um and I'm gonna stir it so none of the chicken really get too, like too dark and burnt. Here, Cameron. Hold this. Try and add my water. You don't want to add too much. Just add enough. We're going to let the meat cook. Once the meat is cooked, we're going to go ahead and start adding um, our um, green pepper, carrot, um, onion, and um, I'm going to add two uh, Irish potatoes as well over there. I'm going to add two of these right here, Irish. We're gonna clean them and peel them and um, add them to the pot. Then we're also gonna add green onion, which is um, like scallion and thyme. Once we do that, we're gonna let it cook down for another like 10, 15 minutes, and then it should be good to go. Once we know the chicken is cooked, we can take turn the stove off. But for me, I like a lot of gravy in mine because my husband loves gravy, extra gravy. And the kids love the gravy as well. So we don't want it to cook down all the way down so we don't have enough gravy. And then once I start doing the jerk chicken in the oven, I'll show you a picture of maybe a little fat as well. But that's what we look like for now. I'm gonna turn my stove up. And I think why the curry look well it, it looks yellow and it also look orange i did add um cayenne pepper for spice and i also have um i also have um, so i did cayenne pepper and i also did some uh, a piece of scotch bonnet pepper because when you're doing curry curry is supposed to be somewhat spicy not too spicy where you can't eat it but it's supposed to be spicy um I need to add some black pepper. <laughs> 
Just making sure everything gets some of the black paper. That's all I'm doing. All right. And that should be good. We're just going to cover it up and let everything cook. Okay, guys, so this is my rice. Yes. One more word, one more slogan. Shelly rice round here, girl. Shelly rice. Shelly rice. <laughs> you little bit of your cook. Think you're there for your pretty little if you want. Mm -mm -mm. And done my bank book. Cook. Uh, recipe book. <laughs> Going in the kitchen because you hand them no nook. <laughs> you little bit of your cook. Take your day up your pretty look. You wanna live a restaurant and done my bank book. Cook, eh? Recipe book. <laughs> Go on in the kitchen cause you hand them no nook. <laughs> Let me stop. Alright. So the rice is good. Alright? We're good. Rice is finito. Now it's the chicken. So clean my area. I think I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies so they can cook because the chicken don't take too long to cook. See? The chicken don't take too long to cook. So we're gonna add the um veggies. Yes. So we're just going to dice these up and put them in the pot. Yay, look at it. Show the uh, thing. This is our story. All right, we gotta get some water. It's finished. Look at that. Yes. She is done, y'all. So our curry chicken is done. We're getting ready to put the um the chicken in the oven to do our jerk Barbie wings. This is what we're gonna put them on. They're already in the fridge. I need to go ahead and get them out. Right. Need to get them out. 
this is our jerk Barbie wings. That's what we're gonna do, jerk Barbie wings. So this is the sauce I use. I use the Jamaican style jerk barbecue sauce and Kraft sweet honey. So I mix those two together in here. And then I add a little bit of um, brown sugar in here. And then I add this um, smoked barbecue um, sauce. So I'm gonna um, try it and make sure it, that's how I want it. All right, yeah, that's our rice. Rice is done. I think I'm gonna make some green beans. Yes, I'll make some green beans. I'm gonna make some green beans for our veggies. Okay, so now we're going to add the wings to the um, the sheet pan to put them in the oven. Okay. Where are you going to get the olive oil? Oh. We're going to pray the um, non-stick on the foil. So we're doing like I think six six um wings. Yeah, that's what we're doing because we already have curry chicken, so we're just gonna add some jerk Barbie wings. Mmm, it looks so good. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. It looks good. It looks raw. It looks good. Raw oh, you can see all the jerk on there. Raw chicken. Mm. Yes. You want me to get the sauce or no? The barbie sauce is right behind you. In the pink plate. Yeah, add brown sugar and stuff to it. Well, that's how I want. You can do that. We need the brush. Oh, you want to wait? Yeah, I think it come out. Yeah, you can wait till after it come out. Okay. So now we're gonna take it to the oven. So we're gonna put it in the oven for like. They go in the oven. We're gonna put it in there for like what 40 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, At 360 degrees, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. To probably like three three seventy, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so We'll wait, give it like 40 minutes, and then we're going to check on it. And once we check on it, we're gonna, that's when we're going to add our barbecue sauce. All right? This is the progress of the wings. This is what they look like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We got 17 more minutes, and then we're going to take them out and add the bar barbecue, um, jerk barbecue sauce. Okay? So that's what they look like. Yeah. Okay, the wings just got done, or the 40 minutes that we timed it for just got done, so we're going to add the the uh, jerk barbie sauce on there. Okay? Mm. I think I should have done like some drumsticks, <laughs> but we already have curry chicken that we're going to eat with it so this should be fun mm. 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 
You gonna flip them over and do it too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks so good. Okay guys, so that's it. We're gonna put it back in the oven. For how long? Probably another 30 minutes. Okay. Yes, look at them. Mm-hmm. My jerk Barbie wings. Jerk barbecue wings. Yes. Look at them. So guys, if you don't want to make a mess, this is what you do. You just line your sheet pan with like some foil and or aluminum foil. That way there's no cleanup. All you gotta do, once you're done with the jerk barbecue wings, you just take your foil off, take your wings off, take your foil and put it in the trash and you wash your pan. That's it, very easy and simple. No mess, okay? Yes, look at that. We got like 15 more minutes left for them to be done. So y'all, I just got done cooking my Sunday dinner. So my jerk uh wings are over there as you can see where my ring light is right there right there so now i'm here um editing a video to post it um after i do that after i post this video i'm gonna go give charlotte a bath and try and do her hair um capri is sleeping right now capri so once i'm done giving charlotte a bath and capri is up i'm gonna give her a bath and wash her hair but i am so happy and proud of myself it's 2 15 dinner is ready all i have to do is make the veggies and that's easy i'm done because i started early this morning i started a little later than i normally would but i got done with breakfast early got and i start already i cooked the peas from last night so yes i'm on it today like mm, mm, mm. Yes. So, yep. So I'm here finishing um the fine tune in this video. Then once I'm done, I'm gonna post it and that's it. Yeah. So guys, we are done. We just got done eating dinner. So I want to say. Um, please like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.